Well, hello there, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Entrouded. So today is finally the day. We're finally gonna be building our new base. I'm super excited about it. I've been doing some uh, grinding off camera, so I got a bunch of goodies. Let's see, I got tons of city wall blocks. I have timber blocks, um, some plant fiber roofs. I was gonna use the new type of roofs, but I still need to smelt up uh, some clay and stuff. Let's see, and I also got these roughly stone cut blocks. Cut stone blocks, I mean. Which we got last episode, I believe. Or was it before that? I don't remember, actually. No, I think the city wall blocks is what we got last episode. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna build a small little building right here. Uh, I was gonna do quite a big building, but I'm trying to figure out how to manage the space first, so we're gonna save that for another episode, unfortunately. But after we've done this building, I'll probably set up some couple farms over here. We got tons of ideas. And I also plan to build a nice little tree house up there. Which is gonna be connected to this building we're gonna be building today, hopefully. Uh, I do might need to remove some of these trees, like this one right here, and this one over here. And as you guys can see, I already went ahead and set up a little platform here, just to have a nice uh, building space to build. And I also already um, upgraded the altar just once. I do want to upgrade a little bit more, maybe. But I'm gonna see if we really need that space, because to be honest, we already got quite a big uh, perimeter over here, so... I'm not really sure if we're actually gonna need it, but we'll have to see. If we do, I got uh, the Shroud Course on me for that. So that's not gonna be an issue. Oh yeah, and also, uh, I went back to the where we got the saw blade uh, last episode. And I managed to get a couple more goodies out of it, so... Got this uh, legendary uh, quality wand, which is super nice. And I also got a frozen wand, which does ice damage, so... We're gonna be able to actually fight the humanoid uh, creatures now. Which is pretty sweet. So having fire and ice is definitely gonna be useful. But yeah, I think we shouldn't waste any more time and uh, start building, so... Let's see here. See if I remember how to build again. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so I want to have at least one foundation space in between. Oh, now if you're wondering what I used to make this little platform, I used the uh, city wall block for the and the ceiling part. Because if you use the foundation, it will uh, create a giant hole <laughs> that I don't want to deal with if I end up removing some pieces, so that's why I used that. What is this squishy noise? I keep hearing it every so often, it's super weird. Alright, so let's see here. I want to have a doorway facing... Uh, let's see here. Gotta have it on the inside, right? Yeah, it's gonna be right over here. Alright, and then I want to have a air hole in between that. And then another doorway right over there. Does that line up? Yeah, it's good enough. Alright, then we're gonna slap a couple ceilings on top of here, which are gonna be the city wall blocks again. There we go. Most likely somewhere later on we're gonna transition into a uh, little building time lapse. But I wanna do the first part with you guys first. Alright, now we got that uh, figured out. I need a staircase. Uh, let's see here, maybe just a little bit forward. Kinda like that. Hmm. Let's turn on the snapping again. Maybe I want it right up against here. Oh yeah, that actually lines up perfectly. Alright, awesome. Yeah, let's go with that. Over here I want to actually transition into a smaller staircase. Then up here I want to put a couple floors. Uh, did I use the right uh, building material? Yes. I want to put a little wall, uh, floor here, and then can we use the rake to flatten it out maybe? Oh, oops. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Uh, maybe if I start over here. Oh, here we go. I think I got it. Sweet. 
rest of the stuff we're gonna have to uh, dig out later. But I wanna have a little platform to walk on here. Probably should get rid of this tree here. I'm a little anxious about doing some of the terraforming stuff because if I do mess up and I want to change it back, it's going to be a huge pain. But I think we're doing alright so far. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh yeah, you got to be careful whenever you are mining on top of your building structures. Because you can actually create holes. Like these will regenerate over time. But if you dig out a little bit further, let me show you guys actually. Of course, now it doesn't work, <laughs> naturally. Yeah, the other day I was messing around with some of the building and actually created a hole in the wall. Hmm, maybe it only works on walls. Let me try. We can sacrifice one wall. Uh, let's see here. We had a slap in there for now. Okay, maybe I dreamt it or something. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but I, I'm pretty sure it's possible. Anyway, let's uh, move on from here. So on top of here, I want to create a little... Let's see here. Switch over to the stone cut. And grab one of these. Then... Hmm. It's not really going the way I want it to. Yeah, I need to move this a little bit further down. Probably like right over here even, maybe. Hmm. I kind of wanted to line up with the wall. Let's see if we can try that. There we go. Oh, used the wrong material. And there we go. And these we can connect to here. Yeah, that actually works out better. Awesome. Then we want to slap one of these over here. Uh, let's build it out of the cut stone. Uh, yeah, that kind of works. We can slap one of these in here. And like so. Hmm, this doesn't really work, does it? No, it needs to be the other block. Yeah, there we go. That looks a lot better. And we gotta remove these two as well. Close this off. Oh yeah, I like that. Sticking it out a little bit. So we can kind of create it like a railing. Like that. Yes, perfect. Alright, so below here I want to make some pillars. So let's see here. Get the snapping points. Then move that in by one. Like that. Do the same thing on the other side, find the snap point, then move one in, kind of like on a diagonal, I guess. Oh, it's not the right spot. Need to go over here. There we go. And then with uh, single blocks, we can create a little, I uh, don't know what you would really call it, but kind of like an arch. Yeah, some like that. There we go. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe somewhere over here. Oops, don't mean to sit there. Let's do one over here. And then separate this. Yeah, I like that. That looks good. Let's fill in the walls on this side as well. Uh, yeah, probably end up digging into the little hill here, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, sweet. Then up here we're going to use the half timber blocks to make a little floor. There we go. Actually, let me do that in reverse, so... It lines up with the walls. And it doesn't really matter technically, but makes me uh makes me feel better, so <laughs> Alright, uh over here I'm actually gonna 
go. Do that. Yeah, that way we can have a little overhang over here. I mean, make that stick out a little bit. Let's go change the floor here. We need to remove this as well. Let's see, let's use... City wall blocks. And uh, no, I don't like that. Yeah, I think I want to have to trim over here with those blocks. There we go. Yeah, I like that much better. Let's put in the timber blocks in here. There we go. Uh, let's probably go ahead and sleep. Yeah, I can probably make this into a little temporary bedroom. Alright, here we are. So I think it turned, uh, turned out pretty well, if I say so myself. Uh, I do gotta fin uh, add some finishing touching later, like adding some railings over here and... Uh... Oh yeah, I do want to fill this in real quick with some uh, 
farm soil. Let's see, so how do you do that? I got some on me. I guess with this. Uh, maybe there's like a different one. Oh, that is too big. Hmm. Yeah, I need something like that, but smaller. Uh, I don't see anything like that, so... I guess we're gonna have to place it manually, which is not too bad. It's quite a small uh, surface, so... I'm hoping this will turn out pretty good. I haven't really tested it out yet. Okay, yeah, that looks alright. It's not the best, but still looks pretty decent. And for the next thing, I got a bunch of windows on me. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Nice. Can we squeeze one up there from here? Eh. There we go. What about over there? Uh, it's a little hard to see, but I think that's it. Yeah. Sweet. I have another window over here. And two up here. Come on. Get inside. Eh. Go up away with me, please. Okay, we'll do that later. <laughs> I don't have the patience for that right now. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the building. I think it turned out pretty well. I was going to use the, uh, the fancy roof pieces, but I don't have enough of those, unfortunately. But I think this looks pretty well, actually. I don't know. I kind of like it. Then again, I haven't tested out the other block, so don't know how that looks yet. Uh, let's see, and I also made a couple doors. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I made enough. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. So yeah, this building is gonna house most of the NPCs temporarily. Does that open to the inside? Yes, it does. Oh yeah. I like the way these doors look. They do match pretty well. I like that. One over here. One over here. And I need to create some fencing to go in between here, but I don't have access to those yet. Uh, yeah, looks like I'm short on one door. Hmm. I'm kind of tempted to just fill in this wall, to be honest. Because there's no need to have two doors, right? I mean, at first this was going to be a balcony, but this could be potentially just be the front door. Yeah, you know what? That works. I like that. There we go. Mm, doesn't really work well with this wall to be honest but it still kind of does yeah let's see and i also need something to fill up on the side here because this wall is a little bit flat i might make a little bit of a uh, overhang over here and we can set up some storage over here that could be good so yeah i think down here is where i'm gonna live for now it's a little bit cozy and i'm gonna end up uh, removing this wall and dig down into the hill but for now i needed a place to sleep so i put in all the best furniture pieces that I could get and just kind of squeeze them in here later I will decorate a little bit better but for now it will do and I think up here will my most likely be either the farmer or the carpenter and then up here hmm. it's kind of tiny to be honest but we can make a, a nice little section here yeah maybe the blacksmith could live over here and we can make a little workshop up here I think it, that could be pretty nice. And then at some point we're gonna move on up until this tree here. And up there is gonna be the alchemist. I was at first thinking about making a little wizard uh, tower. But I prefer that to be circular and that's not really possible in this game. Well, not really. It's kind of possible if you really want to. Because you could kind of go Minecraft style and uh, just build like a pixel circle. I don't know, maybe that doesn't really look good in this game. I haven't tested that out to be honest, so I don't really know for sure. Uh, oh yeah, I need to go back to the base, because I queued up a couple... Um, some plants I can put in there. Uh, let's see here, oh yeah, the over here. There we go, and I also got some chamomile seedlings, which I also need to plant. I do have a bit of farm soil on me, which should be enough. So let's go ahead and go back again. Here we go, so we should be able to place these in here, right? Yeah, maybe like two or three? Yeah, I like that. It's probably gonna look amazing. Sweet. Let's see, and I got a bunch of these on me as well. Let's uh, squeeze those over here for now. That way they're not in the way. 
There we go. Might be a little bit overkill, but I want to ensure I have uh, plenty of them to make all the crops that I need. I'm going to make an official place for the farmer. I mean, officially this was, this was going to be her house. This uh, entirely, but I think having, it, uh, having multiple people living here would be pretty nice. Then now all around here I make a couple workshops. Over here I want to have a farm going this way. Yeah. Oh yeah, those piggies. I keep forgetting though about those. Ow. It is pretty nice though. They do give me free meat every now and then, so I'll take it. I could also potentially think about... Uh, Rebuilding this farm over here. Oh. I mean, it would mean having two flame altars close by, but I don't know. At the same time, that the idea of it is kind of nice. And this, this place already looks amazing. It's got a huge farming patch over here, and we can tear down this building to make another little farming patch. And then we can uh, rebuild this building. Uh, I do still need uh, the wall pieces that they used over here. I'm not sure which ones those are, but I'm assuming we're gonna find those soon. Oh yeah, there is a blue chest in here. Archer trousers, meh. But yeah, that could definitely be be, uh, be an option. But I'm not sure if these guys will respawn if you set a flame auto over here. Hmm. Oh crap. I didn't see that guy. Oh my god. Uh, I'm gonna die. Heal. Jeez. These guys are feisty. There's a lot more over here than I thought. I don't mind getting all these poison sacks, because I do need those. Here we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure later on we can uh, make a spell that's going to require these uh, things. So it's good to get stocked up on them. And there's a, little, a nice little cave down here as well. Which we can probably uh, take advantage of. Yeah, I don't know, the more I think about it, the more it seems more appealing. Ugh, so torn. Let's see, so many, how many altars can we have right now? Six. And I have one right here, which I will end up removing later. And this one down here as well. Yeah, to be honest, I think I only need one or two to move around the map. So there's little temporary bases. And it is such a short walk, so... I don't know. You know what? Let me know what you guys think about that. Should I make a farm over there? I think that could be really nice. And have the rest of the buildings over here. Guess we'll have to see. Alright, so I think I want to set up a little temporary farm here. I made a little square here, so... Should be enough for what I need, at least I hope so. Because the only things I really want to plant is the chamomile and the flax. Oh, I still need to turn these into seeds. Oops. Uh, please tell me I got the things that I need for that. Just water and flax. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's see, let's do a couple over here. The only thing that's gonna suck is I don't have a water well over here. That's okay. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, we might as well turn everything into flax here. Uh, you know what? Let's just keep that cooking. There we go. Uh, let's see here. So I need to create the farm plots. Let's see. Does this work? Yeah. That works perfectly, actually. Like so. And then I've heard a trick that you can do. So if you have uh, farm soil already, you can just extend it with this. Oh yeah, look at that. That is awesome. It's gonna save me a bunch of resources. There we go. And it lines up perfectly as well. That is pretty freaking cool. Alright, sweet. So now if we equip the chamomile. So you can either do it with the snapping or without. I think I'm gonna give, just going to use the snapping just to play it safe, to be honest. Yeah, I've heard you can place things closer if you don't use the snapping, but I don't know. I, I don't really kind of, I don't really like uh, having to line it up. 
Because I'm still a little bit traumatized by Valheim, to be honest. Because farming in there sucks. Without uh, without any mods that uh, help you line things up. There we go. Yeah, this is perfect. Sweet. And once this is done, I'll plant that as well. That's going to take a while. And I do hope we do it. We get more than one plant per harvest. But I guess we'll have to see about that. Got a bunch of junk in my inventory. I'll sort it out later though. For now, we're just gonna dump everything in here. And I think we still have a little bit of time left to go ahead and do something. Because I do kind of want to go ahead and get the hand spindle real quick, which is right over here. Yeah, I think we should be able to pull that off. Let's see, I do need to grab some water though from the main base. So let me do that real quick and then I'll. Uh, Meet you guys over at the next uh, location. Alright, here we are. So that's the cave we need to go into. But I stumbled across this and this is just way too tempting. So let's go ahead and shoot that. See what happens. Oh. That's kind of disappointing to be honest. <laughs> that's okay. It was still pretty cool. I need to go ahead and mine some copper here at some point. but. I'm kind of putting that off. Uh, okay, looks like we need to go up here. Do -do -do -do, double jump. New location charted. Oh, there's gonna be spiders in here. No, I don't want to deal with spiders. Hopefully not a big one. Oh boy, hello. Hi. Oh, we got some light. Sweet. I'm already poisoned. Not good. Hey, left 12. Sweet. I'm gonna have to get them before they jump on me. Ooh, you get a bunch of string from them, actually. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, so what am I looking for here? Hello? Well, at least I know where to go if I need uh, more of these mushrooms. I still haven't figured out what they do. Location reached. What the heck am I missing here? Uh. <laughs> Scare me. I don't know. Oh, hold on. Oh wait, that's... It's just that. Reach the Weverwood. Hunter's note. Wait, do I need to be above? I'm so confused. Maybe it is above. How does one get there though? Let's follow this road for a second. Yeah, no, this doesn't go anywhere. What the heck? Out of my way, piggy. Ain't nobody got time for you. Alright, let's just slowly go through here. There's no enemy, so... There's no need to rush. Maybe I gotta dig somewhere. Let's go wait to quest the uh, log. Uh, I to travel to Riverwood to reach Westcott. Her hand spinner was left in a different camp. So I need to find these notes. Set as waypoint. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> I did not see that. Oh, hi. Eee. Oh, wow. This is gorgeous. And besides all the death. Yeah, this uh, pretty much screams boss arena to me. <laughs> Oh, here's the hand spindle. Watch, as soon as I pick it up, there's gonna be a boss. Ah? Uh? Nope. Oh god, there's a bunch of spiders though. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Got that at least. Should I make my way through this? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I could just teleport out of here. No, that's not fair. Alright. Charge. This is Sting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Sweet. We did it. Alright, any other goodies here? It does go a bunch of different ways. Got one chest in here. Alright, pretty good. Quest updated. Oh, there's an exit over here. Uh, let's go check it out real quick. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, I got a, I got a suspicion that there must be something in here. I need at least one blue chest, then I'll be satisfied. Uh, I guess not. Oh, that's all right. Oh, hold on, it goes further down here. Just gonna ignore these spiders, to be honest. Never mind. <laughs> Probably shouldn't ignore free XP. Okay, yeah, I think I explored every inch of this place. No goodies, unfortunately. All right, let's get the heck out of here. My food expired as well. Ow. Stop that. All right, so yeah, now we got the hand spindle. I can slowly work on uh, doing stuff at this base in between episodes. So I can work on doing some farming and getting some more seeds going. And hopefully next episode we should have access to a new glider and also hopefully some other goodies. And next episode we're also gonna climb the ancient spire. So we have access to that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. But that is all the time I have left for this episode guys, so if you end up enjoying the video, please leave a like and comment if you want. And also if you're new here and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Alright, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!